pumpkin cinnamon roll bake. Now I'm going to be halving this. I'm not going to make the full recipe. I will put in the description the full recipe and then I'll write out how I made it. So you're going to need one or two cans of cinnamon rolls, the five count. I'm only using one. Take these cinnamon rolls and you're going to cut them, it says, into six pieces. So go half, half, and then like that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Do one more and then do the rest off camera. You're going to pre-spray your baking pan. You can use a 9 inch or an 8 inch. I'm using an 8 inch since I'm only cut up one can. So you're just going to put the... and don't worry if some of the bites are smaller than the other. I'm just going to dump those all in there like this. Can you see how I'm doing that? Just they don't really have to be even, just like this. I'm gonna set that to the side, and then you're gonna bring a mixing bowl over. You're gonna get two large eggs, and you're gonna slightly beat those, and then put those in here. Then you're gonna put three quarters of a cup of half and half and if you can't find half and half like I couldn't I'm just going to use evaporated milk I've already shook it up then I'm going to put a quarter of a can of pure pumpkin not pie pumpkin pure So I measured that out. You're going to put in about eighth of a cup of sugar. I'm just half that into the quarter cup one. And then you're going to put in half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. I'm going to use my homemade and I'll put that recipe at the end of this video. I'm putting half a teaspoon of that in there. And while you're doing this, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then you're just going to whisk that together. Okay, so you want to whisk it until it's um, smooth. And then you're going to pour this all over the cinnamon rolls. Then you're going to add a quarter cup of chopped pecans all over the top. enough all over each piece. Now you're going to put it in the oven. The recipe calls for 35 to 39 minutes. I'm going to check it at 39 minutes. I read some of the reviews and some people said it took them almost an hour to get this done. But I'll check it at 39 and then I'll let you know 
how long it actually took for it to bake. I just pulled it out of the oven and it looks done to me. I baked it for 39 minutes. I don't know why some took an hour. Maybe they made a bigger thing of it. But this is done and it smells really good. And it says to uh, soften up the the icing that came with it, which I already did, so I can sprinkle it all over. Just using a fork. Or you can just do like that too. I'm going to set this to the side for a few minutes. And while that's baking, set your mixing bowl in the refrigerator because it says in a chilled bowl you're going to beat whipping cream. But since I couldn't find it, Walmart is out for some reason. You can use evaporated milk and powdered sugar, cinnamon, and vanilla. So let's get started on that. It looks good as it is, but I'm going to do this since that's what the recipe calls for. half a cup of cream or evaporated milk one tablespoon of powdered sugar quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Also, on um, when you're baking your cinnamon roll bake, you don't have to add the pecans before you put it in the oven. You can wait till after, but I thought it would be better. Bake them in with the, um, the bake. And it says, to use your electric mixer and beat until stiff peaks form. I don't know if that's going to happen with this. You probably get it stiffer with, um, heavy whipping cream, but like I said, I couldn't find any. So I had evaporated milk here, so I went on and used that. So that's, it's more foamy than anything. So now I'm going to bring that back over here, and I'm going to pour this over there, like it says to. We'll see how it comes out. I'm going to let this set and let this soak up this milk. I don't know <laughs> what it's for, but I'm going to let it do that and then I'll come back and taste it for you. I'm going to try it for you. I'll let it set for a little bit. I don't know how it's going to do with that milk in there. It soaked up a lot of it, but I'm going to try it. I'm probably going to pour the rest of that milk off of there. And this is what it looks like.
Hmm. It's pretty good. So I'll make it again though. I'm probably not going to add that, that milk on it. Unless I have the heavy whipping cream. Which I don't know why it's so hard to find. I'm going to add some whipped cream on top. some whipped cream it is it is pretty good though and I poured the milk off of it because I don't want it too soggy but that's what it looks like I just poured the milk off of it my suggestion is it's up to you if you make it with evaporated milk and you don't have half and half or um, heavy whipping cream is not to use the milk mixture just use the glaze that comes with the cinnamon rolls and it it'll be just as good I thank you for watching if you're not subscribed I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.